please subscribe. Thank you for joining me. And I would like to take a second to thank Coolio for this song I just listened to for my warm-up, Gangster's Paradise. Thank you, Coolio. I know we're buds. <laughs> Today's video is for you. You being casual and not elite players. Again, not elite players. So elite players, bye-bye now. This is not for you. This is one way to get some awesome AD or Astro Diamonds. Right now, I have a little more than 50,000 Zen or 51,000 Zen sitting for my bankroll. And I have about 8 million Astro Diamonds on this character. But we have a couple sales coming up. If you check your calendar, we have the Summer Promotional Charge event. There should be some good discounts here. We'll find out for sure. See how much they changed that during Mod 16 Under Mountain. But for the Astro Diamonds, the Wondrous Bazaar is having an awesome sale coming up on the 13th. So check your calendar for that. Basically, if you already have VIP and you go to the Wondrous Bazaar, you get a discount right now at rank 12. If you're getting the 25% discount, another 15 will be added to that. So obviously that's 40%. And with Mod 16, I have a lot of refining to do, but I wanted to hold off till I got some of these extra refining goodies that are needed. So that's why we're here. And this is how I'm going to do it. It's not the only way, but it's my way today. Okay, in case you missed this, first of all, with Mod 16, if you haven't done this yet, and again, this is for you casual players, some of these insignias had changed. So if you already had some, the Vigor insignia and the Leeching insignias for your mounts have an item level of zero. As you can see, the others have an item level. And I'm dealing with Epic today. This is what I have. So the first thing I want to do is remove this. And I'll remove that one. If you haven't seen this yet, I'm next to the Rewards Claim Agent in Protector's Enclave. Over here, Lord Never Remembers, up at the top, in case you don't know. And I'm talking to the Antiquities Scholar. You go to Store, go across the top tabs to Insignias. And if you look here, I can pick up an Epic Insignia Choice Pack. So what I'm going to do, I'll just select one of those. We'll go through this real quick again. Can I have this in another video? You can check it out later or not. It's really the same thing. But when I go here, you open up your inventory and I go to the Epic Insignia Choice Pack. I'll click on this. And one thing you can do just in case things change, go through these and it will let you select a different type of insignia. All Epic in this case, because I'm exchanging Epic for another Epic but the cool thing is, let's say you don't need one of these necessarily. You just want the Astro Diamonds. Go here, go to Insignias, Epic, do a quick little search. And what I'm looking for is I want to see what's pulling in the most Astro Diamonds at the moment. It should be the Dominance. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything's changed. So you can see there was quite a jump in the types of insignias. So the barbed is at the lower end at 825,000. And the regal's up here at 1.2 million Astro Diamonds. Guess what my choice will be? It seems pretty obvious to me, but you know, if you don't play a lot, this might not be obvious. So, because I hadn't exchanged those or anything, I'm going to go here. I'm going to accept that. Voila, there it is. And the nice thing is that is not account bound. So that will be very nice. I saw what the price on that other one was. So I just throw that up. It's a little bit below what it, the other one was set for, but I'll be happy with that. So I'll throw that up there. And that's about, you know, I have a 10% fee or there'll be a cut from the house, but that's getting me close to a million Astro Diamonds once that sells and it will sell. 
at some point. And I had a couple others I can do that with. So right off the bat, that'll give me close to 3 million Astro Diamonds minus the fees. And again, that obviously was not account bound. If it was, it wouldn't let me put it up for sale. Just want to be clear on that. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to open, I have some Glorious Resurgence lock boxes here. I want to open up some of those. And again, if you're a casual player, I have VIP and even 30 days of VIP is really cool to have because what it allows you to do, this is how I get mine. This is how I get all of mine is just through VIP. If you didn't know this, you can go on to the Zen market and buy Enchanted Keys there if you don't have VIP. It's much more expensive to do it this way, but you can. If you're going to do it that way, make sure you invoke and wait for the coupons to come up. You'll get discounted coupons for those keys. I think they still give those out. I quit looking. I know they used to. I think they still do. So you can get it that way. Or if you go with VIP, even one month will give you keys. The very cool thing about that is you only have to be at level one VIP, which you can get for the purchase of one month. And there you go. One enchanted key. You get a little bag that you have to collect every day. You come in here into your inventory, go down to the crown, and then you can collect it. I already got it for today, but I would claim it here. And then that goes into your inventory in the key slot. But you have to claim it every day or they disappear. I haven't opened anything for a while. And I'm up to 426 enchanted keys right now. So I'm going to use a few of those. And that's how I intend to get my astral diamonds. Before I open these, I want to take a second to thank Anomaly for checking out my creepy stories. Jamon and Jewel, and all of you that hung out on my live stream for Warhammer Vermintide 2. That's the first time I got one to work right, so I was pretty excited to do that. That was fun. I want to thank Noob Dozen Trolls for his thoughtful comments. I'm assuming it's a guy. It might be a girl. Sorry about that if I got it wrong. Mark Diaz and Rusty Shackleford for their advice. And Hillbilly Trollop, who asked me for more helpful videos for regular players. So here you go, Hillbilly. This one's for you. So let's open these, see what we get. Some trade bars, enchantment packs. Adventuring pack. And now I'll open some of these acquired treasures lock boxes. Yeah, that's nice and acquired treasures epic companion pack. Ooh, a legendary hatchet. That was nice. Yeah, now I have all this stuff to get rid of. But that's it. That's all you do. This stuff is not account bound, which is pretty good. Then you can price this stuff out. So those are about 25000 each. I got 10 of those. Those are worth 12 apiece. About 46 apiece for those. 40 apiece for those. I got 7 of those. The Acquired Treasure Epic Companion Pack. 268,000. The legendary hatchet is 160,000. So you can see once everything's said and done with all this stuff, that'll get me a couple extra. That'll get me a few million extra astral diamonds pretty quickly. If you only had 30 of those keys, you'd still be up there. But you never know what you'll get. If you picked up a legendary mount, and I get those from time to time, you can pick up a few million right off the top, which is a really nice bonus. So there you go. That's for you casual players and the regular players. That's how I'll pick up a few million extra Astro Diamonds for the upcoming sale. Please subscribe. I know YouTube doesn't care, but I do. Thank you.